Well, today we'll have a look at the uh, giant salamander habitat. If you would like to see some still images from this place, make sure to check out my article in TFH magazine. A link to it will be in the description when it is published. Behind me in this clip, there's a long fish ladder. The government has these installed in many habitats in Japan. And not only the fish use them to get upstream, but also the juvenile salamanders that grow out upstream of this area where their parents will be spawning late in the year. Below these small waterfalls is where you meet most of the fish. Different minnows assemble here, but also juvenile salmon. This is quite high up in the mountains, but also it is winter, so some of the more cryptic fish species, such as the sculpins, loaches and catfish, are really difficult to spot in December. The salamander move more slowly now, and quite often they are well hidden in caves, so it takes some time to spot one. You literally have to check each dark and large enough space in the river. Sometimes they dig under the concrete fish ladders and they are really hard to spot there. Found the first one. This is a young adult, but you can see by the size of the shadow just how big these things are. 75 to 90 centimeters or 30 to 36 inches is the general size here. In general, the salamanders don't seem to see humans as a threat and they will walk away from you, but not in a huge rush. Their tail is a massive rudder, so they are very much capable of getting away quickly. They actually swim really well, but I have not seen that often. Most of the time, you will find salamanders deep in their cave, and if the cave is too small, their tail will stick out like this. They are actually quite static during the day in the winter. When you do catch them moving around though, it is quite odd to see. They sort of walk along the bottom, but they look somewhat comical with their big smiling face and their feet are so odd. They have feet not very reptilian looking. It looks more like a really fat person wearing work gloves with those white fingertips. There are no claws, and I think that is why they look more comical than menacing. But when the salamanders hunt, they just suck in their prey more like a grouper than a crocodile. Those skin folds on their sides can absorb oxygen, just like the famous frog from Lake Titicaca in the Andes. Not that oxygen is an issue here. This cold, pristine water is moving fast and has a very high oxygen saturation. If you are enjoying our content from Japan, make sure to check out the video with 30 other Japanese native and endemic fish. I'm sure you will see some species you have not seen on video before. There will be a link in the description as well. Their eyes are really tiny, and I think they can see motion well, but when they are moving through the habitat, it is not ideal, and they will bump into rocks, and they just don't look very coordinated. Amphibians are not known for their elegance, but these things look pretty silly. Given how sluggish they are, likely due to the very cold water temperature at the moment, I would guess they do not feed much in winter, but I could be wrong, and when it is dark, and all those minnows are sleeping along the bottom, the salamanders may be gobbling them up like vacuums. Basically, they are solitary, but it's not unusual to see two animals together in the same cave. In the breeding season, they are much more aggressive towards each other, and they will bite each other. A fair number of them are missing digits, but I don't know if that's from biting each other or being bitten by birds when they are younger. In the breeding season, the males dig out caves and the females come to visit and lay their eggs. The male then defends that cave with the eggs and larvae. I will definitely try to make an effort to film that when there is a chance to be in Japan at the right time. The other really cool critter here is the only turtle endemic to Japan. Like many places, introduced turtles such as the red ear sliders from Florida are causing problems for these native turtles. In this place, the Japanese turtle is fairly common and we found six in a few hours while we were in the water. At home in Canada, all the turtles are hidden away in the winter months. And I was so surprised that the reptiles were moving around at all, given the water must be around 10 to 12 degrees Celsius or around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me show you a bit of my favorite fish here. These brightly colored gobies are Rhinogobius flumineus. They're everywhere. The males have their territories on both sides of the riverbank, overlapping. So the moment they meet each other, their dorsal fins will go up and there's a territorial dispute. The equivalent of stealing someone's beer at the bar and pointing at someone else is to remove a rock along the riverbank. Then all the males in the area will come to the new spot, investigate if there is food, but also to try and hatch out who is the boss in the newly created space. 
You will now see how the adult Rhinogobias that live in this area all come to check out the new space. Even if you don't move a rock, the presence of a camera in their territory creates a new elevation and everyone must go to see it. The females with the two lower dorsal fins also start to investigate and at one point I think up to six adult males will be around the camera. We made an all gobi video from Amami Oshima, one of the Ryukyu islands in the south of Japan. That video does not just show Rhinogobius, but also Trident Tiger, Stephodon, Sikyopis, all in a small stream that is a really diverse habitat, not just with many gobi species, but also freshwater pipefish and jungle perch. I recommend you have a look, the link will be in the description. We do have more footage from Japan and some amazing video from a tank with giant Mekong fish. I will try to get that up on YouTube in the next couple of months. Make sure to share this video and subscribe. As we gain more subscribers, we can do a bit more in the videos and we still need to have a giveaway sometime in the near future.